through my basketball experience when I came to some points you know, where the uh, details are very important in this, uh, in this basketball game. I don't know, but uh, our thing is we're doing too much of high screen, high picks. I don't know if you remember uh, old times when uh, Chris Moore played Michael Jordan. I don't remember uh, Bill Pantry said it pick for Michael Jordan. Do you remember? Or like when Luther Paul said it pick for, uh, for Chris Moore. Uh, I believe that. First thing is you have to learn how to play one-on-one -on -one and how to catch the ball closest to the basket, to the basket as possible. Yeah, we learned it too. That's what teaching kids. I know that you're going to use this one for your careers, get to know. Uh, so, three things I'd like to share with you here today. <clears throat> one is how to catch the ball. Of course, you have to catch the ball. And you do pretty good, you know, so I, I saw today, you know, so we catch the ball, you know, we have to, this, like, this leg is using your, your body to catch the ball. But it's very important to, to use your whole body to, to, to make a stick in a space, make a space. But the big guys, you know, so when you could use more of your head, because the head is very important to, for your, for your spacing, so. Point is, you know, so when you catch the ball, when you're spacing, you know, so you you can really see where your opponent's legs are. So, fake and shot. Uh, what I'm trying to come up with, you memorizing many things, you know, when, during the practice workouts, and uh, your memory is fine, but when you have blood pressure, when you play the heart, uh, you're coming up with some one or two options, what's left, what was left in your head. So I want to tell you that three points that you have to, from your memory, to, to go to into your reflexes. That's a reflex. You know, and uh, especially for big guys, if you can catch the ball on, you know, here or there, so that's a, that's a reflex. That's that's what you you do one step and you make a shot. Don't think about any other any other options. Just one. So if you want to try, you can try the game with you know. But I think this thing works because of first. You make a space, and then you go into the van and pushing up. Mistakes, what the kids are doing, they make it too long step. Step is too long. You can't, you can't help it. Just, just move. Second thing is, when you're catching a ball, you're going this way, you're going that way, is way too high and your center of your body, gravity center, is that has to be much lower in your legs. Of course you have to see your head is, has to be up, you know, maybe to pass or for something else. Any questions? Any it's clear, more or less? Memory and reflex. Reflex that's what you you're going with the situation when you don't have too many options, especially when you're going around the pick, you know, or you play one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, second thing I'd like to get your attention to, it's uh, we, you haven't played too much uh, box or what the set is. When you're going around the pick, uh, we had this three screens. It's very important. What, what, when I played the best of, was uh, Chris Muller. Do you remember the guy? Lefty. 
white guy from Brooklyn. So he 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 used to this is a let's say this is a big guy. You have to go into your opponent, you know, so you don't like trick, you know, or, or you know, just push, and then go first as a step, and then take a shot. This, this also should go like reflex. You can't, you can't just. Change your speed. That's what you're learning sometimes. That you're mistaken. You're going like the same speed all the whole time. That's you really have to get 100 percent out. Not to say if you if you think you you're going to curl, no, to go and shoot just for shot. Any any questions? Any? Third thing, thank you. Uh, when you catch me a ball, as I mentioned in our first meeting, like uh, I didn't know how to do that because nobody told me. Even Daddy Nelson didn't tell me that. When you automatically, you have to go to the middle to use the opponent's defender's speed. Even not a cross, cross ball, even from a side, you can make something happen. <laughs> so, automatically penetrate or pass the ball. So, don't forget, every time you catch the ball on the side, do something positive, do something that you can help your partners. Uh, defensively. Defensively, what I'm teaching kids in our academy, for some reason, I don't know, I, I truly believe that left, pushing to the left is more successful than to play, I would say, play straight or, you know, so that's what I'm teaching is like more. Fancy? Yeah. Just like, more like a, a left. Yeah. And I, I'll explain why. I don't know, but this is, this is what I believe this is better. My, <coughs> if you shoot, right, I'm right here. Because that's a closer. Then, so when you drive, like cross over, right? Like this. I'm right here, also. Yeah. For a big guy, it's much better to reach the or to block with the right hand than with the left hand. So and if you if you can dance, you know what? You can. So, we had long discussions with our coaches, you know, and, and of course I cannot convince that left is, uh, nobody can beat us with the left hand. We all always should push at least from three, to three quarters to, to the left. Here is the issue of discussions, or depends on the coach, where he wants to put, push. If you go into open right, well, you can push to the right. I believe my, my leg's too weak. I cannot keep up with, with his right hand. And my help man with the left hand is not that successful as with the right hand over there, on that side. So this is like lifetime discussion how to play. 
I asked many people, they said play straight, play, but you know what straight is, doesn't do any good to, to me personally because I, I have to know where my health guy 